All right, let's talk about your forecast today and the tsunami that we had overnight last night. We wanted to give you the latest information because for a while there, it was pretty unnerving throughout the overnight hours. We had an 8.8 .8 magnitude earthquake there in parts of far eastern Russia, kind of right along the ring of fire. Here's the thing, though. Since it's right there, you can easily cause a tsunami in the Pacific Ocean. The thing is, though, we didn't really have any observations. We were starting to get some pictures and video from Russia and Japan of some waters going up and, and a lot of the shaking on land. But in order to watch for places for the U.S., so Alaska, Hawaii, even our West Coast and some of our territories out in the Pacific, there are no observations between Russia until you get to either the Midway Islands or Alaska. All these numbers show you the top tsunami wave heights that we've had throughout the overnight hours. So with that 8.8 .8 magnitude earthquake, which took place in Eastern time yesterday evening and more towards yesterday afternoon and yesterday midday for uh, parts of the, the Western Pacific, 8.8 .8 would make this earthquake time for the sixth largest earthquake we've had on planet Earth since the year 1900. I think it would be a three way tie. The last time we had anything this strong was the earthquake in Japan, that 2011 disaster with the nuclear reactor. Remember, that was over a decade ago and a lot of deaths with that one. So unnerving until we finally got that first report at the Midway Islands of one of our territories, 5.8 feet high. So we don't really have any reports of damage in our territories and towards Hawaii. Waves went up, but it could have been a lot worse. Now, it's not all about the magnitude of an earthquake that determines the tsunami level. A lot of it has to do with how deep the earthquake was, how's the shelf, uh, what kind of earthquake it was. There's a lot of different factors and it's just hard to predict. Uh, but as of five o'clock, the leading edge of the tsunami had already cleared Hawaii. But here's the thing, it's not just about the leading edge. Now, normally leading edge, you'll get a couple rounds of waves at first and there will be likely some of the highest waves, but you could still get a higher wave afterwards. But generally it's along kind of the leading edge for the first few rounds. Afterwards, the, the ocean's like a bathtub. We're still seeing a lot of rippling all the way west into the Hawaiian Islands, towards midway, towards Guam and all the way up north towards Alaska. But you can see closer look at Hawaii. The highest wave height that we had reported throughout the overnight hours was there in Maui, just under seven feet, just about six feet there at Hilo Harbor on the east side of the Big Island, and just under three feet for Kauai, and there on the south side, Honolulu, Oahu. On the north shores of Oahu, we had also some two to three foot wave heights as well. So we can only go off the observations. Could there be places with a wave a little bit higher depending on the location? Sure, but overall under uh, seven feet. Then it came towards the west coast. As of five o'clock, the leading edge had come through right through the central uh, coastline there of California and the northern coastline, including also Washington and Oregon, although we didn't get as much of a wave in Washington and Oregon, and we didn't get as much of a wave for parts of Alaska. There's also a lot of cruises right now this time of year between Seattle coming up towards Juneau and headed towards Valdez, uh, but we'll continue to watch that, but it's still just kind of waves rippling. So that was some good news and California specifically. We already were at high tides. So that was a little bit concerning. But we had some wave heights up to almost seven feet. Now we already had some pre existing waves, one to four feet. So if you kind of just add on top of that, really the difference was only about a foot or two, maybe up to three feet in some spots. So we'll continue to watch. The biggest waves have now pushed on out. The threat is now mainly decreasing. It's, it's mainly over. We still have some tsunami advisories just because the bath water, uh, kind of like a toddler uh, swimming in a bathtub, how there's just a lot of ripples. We're still kind of getting that Pacific Ocean, but uh, not as big of a wave as we could have had. So that's some good news, but still some impressive waves, especially on parts of the North Shores and Eastern 